Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So there's a brand new race pass up and we're going to talk about which cars to get. You got about three weeks and six days to complete this thing. Of course, you got your paid tier and your free tier. If you complete the free tier, you're going to get to choose one of three cars. If you also do the paid one, you're going to be able to choose two out of six cars. So the first three cars... We got the Nissan GT R50 prototype by Italia Designs. We got the Wire Roadster and we got the 600 LT Spider. Which one of these cars should you choose? Well, I think that's really going to be personal preference, but I'm going to go ahead and throw something up on the screen that shows you the times that these cars run so you can kind of make a decision on which one you want to get. Now, the Nissan runs about a 7.680 something, 372 miles per hour and 0 to 100 in 1.7 seconds. The Wyra Roadster does a 7.972, it does 356 miles per hour in 0 to 100 and around 1.492. The 600 LST Spider does about a 7.573, 7 433 miles per hour and 0 to 100 in about 1.7. Now I wouldn't say that any of these particular cars are leaps and bounds above one of the others, so on this one, I think you're going to go ahead and just pick the one that you think looks the coolest or the one that you have the most parts for or something like that. Um, Nissans are easy to get parts for. You know, McLarens are easy to get parts for. The Wyra Roadster, a little harder to get parts for. Paganis are not super easy to get parts for. So that's something you might want to think about when choosing the car. So let's go ahead and look at the paid tier, see which cars are available and talk about those. Now, if we go into the paid tier, we can pick either the Senna Launch Edition, the TS1 GT Slipner 10th Anniversary, or whatever that is, I can't read today, and the MC12 Stradel Carbon Blue. So you got one of those three cars to pick from. So let me go ahead and throw the little chart up on the screen so you can see the times that these ones run. So the Senna does a 7.160. It does 407 miles per hour, and 0 to 100 in 1.160. And I think I had a typo in there, guys. The TS1 GT 10th anniversary does a 7.255, 462 miles per hour, and 0 to 100 in 1.472. And then the MC12 does 7.738, 355 miles per hour, and 0 to 100 in 1.327. All pretty good times overall. So which one of these do you want to get? McLaren is definitely going to be the easiest one to get parts for. The other two are going to be very hard to get parts for, especially when these are purple stars. So you're going to have to pay for crates for the particular car. But McLaren Fusion parts are pretty easy to get. I think the McLaren's probably the fastest out of the three cars. I think I would go with the McLaren myself. If I were going to choose, I would pick the McLaren, but that's just me. If you want to choose a different one, that is also fine. So it's going to cost about $9.99 as far as US dollars goes. If you're in another country, hey, I don't know what that's going to cost you. But I do feel like these things are probably worth buying. You're going to get a bunch of universal fusion parts, some stage six parts, just a whole bunch of nice stuff. Plus, if you make it all the way through it, you're going to be able to choose two different cars. Now, the paid tier, of course, you don't have to pay a dime. If you complete the paid tier, you're going to get one of the three cars on the top, plus all the prizes on the top. If you want to buy the $10 uh, paid tier, you get all the prizes on the bottom, plus the additional cars. So, honestly, it's kind of worth the 10 bucks, in my opinion. Now, the last race plat... Now, the last race pass, I did not finish. I was like three levels away, and I did not pay attention to any of the tasks. I just played the game like I normally would, and I almost finished it. So, it's not really all that hard to complete one of these. If you actually pay attention to what the tasks are, it'll be like, hey, do uh, three tier four regulation races, or do this, or do that. Every day, you got the daily task, and you got the weekly task. So, pay attention to those guys. It should be pretty easy to make it through here without spending too many resources or anything as long as you're paying attention to what the tasks are. But you know, of course, things could always change, but that's the way they have it set up currently. But I think that wraps this video up. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome War Robots content. Hit the little bell and set the notifications. Oh, that way YouTube notifies you when I make new videos. If you want to help support the channel, check out the thank you button or the down button. Down 
the thank you button or the join button down below the video. That would really help me out a lot. And there's a Danny Lightning merch store. You can find a link to that in the video's description, plus my other YouTube channels and some other cool stuff. So I would really appreciate if you guys check those out and maybe check out one of these videos that's about to pop up on the screen. Man, I can't talk fast, can I? Every time I try to talk fast, it does not come out right. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Lightning out. Have a great day. See ya.